Flowers Mom. Um, today I had to take my daughter to work and I have about two hours before I have to pick her up. So I thought that'd be a perfect amount of time to clean my microwave. So I hope you all don't mind watching me do this. I not only do this, you know, to show somebody something that a trick or two that I may know, which I don't really know any tricks, but it motivates me to get it done. Yeah, because if, you know, I'm making a video of it, yeah. <laughs> so, my microwave needs cleaned. It's not totally gross, but it's not clean like it should be. So, I'm going to get you guys in position and then we'll get started, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, this is the microwave, yes. Get you up closer, see? We've got some soup that got stuck on there. There's a little crumb right there, probably hamburger. Uh, yeah. So, let's back you guys up. Oops. And you guys can watch me clean, okay? <laughs> so, let me get this camera. I'm working on my husband's camera. So, I am trying to learn how to do it where you all can get a good view of everything. So, the first thing we're going to do is get everything off of the microwave and from around the microwave. So, let me do that right away. Now next, I'm going to get a bowl of water. It doesn't have to be a specific bowl, but you want a bowl that's going to last high temperatures for a length of time. I will put the bowl of water in there and put it on high for about three minutes, and um, then we'll let the steam do most of the work. So, let me get my bowl of water. Okay, so. Let's get this going, okay? <laughs> so, I just have an ordinary glass bowl of water in here. Can you see that right there? Just one of my serving bowls to put water in it. Shut it up. And now I'm going to set my timer for three minutes. And we will let that just kind of cook for about three minutes. And I'm gonna set you guys on the table and then I'll get my cleaner and we'll start cleaning the outside of it. It is. 
So, we'll close that up, leave it closed, and let the steam do its job. And we will continue to scrub the outside of this filthy microwave. <laughs> Well, I think that's going to have to do for now. Now, I really need to wipe off the back of it also, but you don't really want to get it saturated, you know, spray it down with your cleaner because you've got all your electrical wires in there and stuff, so you really need to be safe with that. So what I'm going to do is just spray my cloth off and just give it a damp wipe. Now, when I turn this, I have to be careful because there's a bowl of water in that microwave. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, put everything back on the counter, wipe off any crummies and that stuff. The side of my microwave is where I keep all my cooking oils and cooking sprays. And the big jar of pasta. <laughs> now let's take a look and see how clean the inside got. Well, we still have our little stains, things like that, <clears throat> but everything is nice and moist. So we know that the water did do it, even on the top, it's real moist. So I'm going to pause you guys and I will actually bring you down here while I'm doing this part of it, okay? So hold tight, we'll be right there. Okay, everybody. Now I'm gonna remove my bowl, but be careful, it might be hot. These bowls that I'm using, the handles of them, if you let them sit for a few minutes, they typically cool off. And it did sit for a little while during the wipe off of the outside. So I'm just going to remove this. I'm going to take out my plate and my little carousel piece. This I'm going to wash in hot soapy water. Next, we're going to do the door. And remember, this steam got everything nice and wet and moist so that all you need to really do is maybe give it a little bit of a scrub in certain spots. But you should be able to avoid most um, of the sprays and stuff we have to use. done wiped it. Remember we had that little spot there that needed to be cleaned. We had crummies in here. Now I do have some spots and corners here and here that I could get a toothpick out and do that. But you gotta remember I work full time so <laughs> that right there is not going to give me food poisoning. But let's see I see one spot in the very corner that I need to get. Yep. I'm going to need a scrubby for that. There we go. There we go. Now see, <clears throat> it didn't take no time at all. Maybe about 15 minutes to clean out my microwave. And I would show you the top, but I'm not sure that you guys could get in there good. But take my word for it, there's nothing there on top. 
So now I gotta wash my plate and my carousel piece, that little plastic piece that goes in there. I gotta wash that off, put everything back on top of my microwave, and I will be right back to show you all of that. So hold on tight. Okay, everybody, I've gotten that all cleaned off. So I'm gonna dry my carousel thing. It broke, yeah, it did. <laughs> But this little thing still works whether I have that extra leg on it or not. I'm not going to throw away a whole microwave just because of this one piece, right? Right. It still turns and it still cooks my food. So you want to make sure you get the, the water all out of it. I just washed this with hot soapy dish water. And just pop it back down into the little cavity in there. Now I'm going to go get the plate. And we're just going to give that a good dry off. Ah. And honestly, if I hadn't been talking to you guys and showing you what I was doing, I probably would have this done in... Uh, probably 10 minutes yeah so not even that long really now if that little leg wasn't missing it would sit evenly inside the little groove but because my leg is not there it's not going to sit evenly <laughs> now I want to put my pretties on the top And I just have my a coffee themed dishcloth that I have. I think I got these at Walmart. And a fruit bowl. Now I don't keep fruit in this one. It's just up here for decor decorative purposes. And my husband always ends up putting stuff in it. Okay, so now all I have to do is throw my dirty cloths in the um, wash, put the bowl that I had the water in, I'm going to put that in the dishwasher, and put away my sponges, yeah. And that's it. That's it. And yeah, I'm going to get off of here. I really think I'm going to show you guys uh, my oven. My oven is disgusting. I haven't cleaned it for a very, very long time. Oh, I hate to clean the oven. I hate it. I hate it. But I think I'll take you guys along for the ride, okay? <laughs> if anyone wants to go on that dirty ride with me, I think that's going to be the next video. So buckle your seatbelts and we'll get at it. <laughs> so I'm going to get off of here now, everybody. Um, go and, you know, clean your microwave. It should only take you about five or ten minutes, okay? And if it's a really, really dirty microwave, like one of my kids, I'm sure, their microwave is filthy. In fact, I'm sure his microwave is filthy. If it's that case, you'll, what you'll do is you will steam your water, wipe out the inside. Steam your water, wipe out the inside. And you'll just keep doing that process until all of that nasty food buildup is soft and moist in there because there is layers in there that you may have to steam multiple times. I was lucky, you know, I didn't have to do that this time. I have had to. When my boys were home, my teenage boys, mm-hmm, yeah, there were times when I would have to steam a bowl, wipe, steam some more, wipe, steam some more. But that's what you get when you have four boys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Messy. Twyla? Yeah. She, uh, I've caught her with messes in there. In fact, that little drop of stuff here was probably from her. 
<laughs> so I'm going to get off of here now, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. You know I love to hear from each and every one of you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.